Ladies and gents, today we're going to be going over how to set up your option chain and layout to day trade option when things are moving quickly. So as usual, before getting the video, a quick reminder that all the best tools will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get right in. So the first thing we have is implied volatility. Then I have delta, open interest, volume, bid, ask, and also the strike price. So over here, the first thing that is really important that you add on your option chain Normally, whatever you're using, it's going to be like a right click and then you're going to be able to configure and also add. Here is going to be configure layout and then you're going to be able to add. I'm using the demo version right now, so I'm not getting the live data. Just easier than kind of adding my account everywhere. So what I have is implied vol at first. Something that's really important when you're day trading option, you're normally going to be day trading something that is moving a lot. So that means that the premium is always going to be really, really high compared to an investing option. So let's take Tesla, for example. It's going to be pretty easy to explain because GME, for the reason that is that everybody is buying option on it to try to create a gamma squeeze, the implied is really, really high. So what we have over here is that Tesla has an implied volatility of 70% and it's a stock in play, a stock that is currently moving a lot. So this is something that's going to be reasonable. Something around the 60 to like 150%, I don't see any issue if you're really day trading because you're not really going to wait for your strike price to hit the correct price or the correct amount. You're just looking to buy the option for a certain amount and then there's a move and then it creates a big, big move in the option price. So it's leverage on the stock price to make more money than just buying the stock. So anything around the 70 to the 150 is going to be something that you're going to have to get used to. And that also means that you cannot hold the stock if it's doing nothing because you're going to get crushed on your premium. And this is going to be because of time decay. So the longer you hold a contract towards the expiration date, the less is going to be worried because there's less probability that it gets into the money. So the next thing we have over here is going to be the delta. Delta is going to be important to have also because you want to know how much the option is going to move versus the stock. So let's take the 260 call over here on Tesla for this example. So this, it tells you that for every $1 that Tesla is going to move, this option contract is going to move for 40 cents. So when the price over here of Tesla is going to be example 261, this option price is going to be increasing by 40 cents. So when Tesla makes a $5 move, this is going to be five times 40 cents. This is going to be what you're getting. But you also consider that if there's panic, implied volatility is going to increase and then your premium get inflated, which is good when you're long some calls or long some puts. So over here, 40% is something reasonable. When I'm day trading option, something I'm careful about is just choosing something around the 30 cent at least. So 29 over here to the 30 is going to be what I'm looking for. If the premium is really expensive, like these contracts are not that crazy, but if you're looking at something at like $14 or something, I'm never gonna take that. What I'll do is I'll look over here Example at the 270, it's gonna have a less, you know, big move when the option move, but the premium is gonna be cheaper. So sometimes I can have more contracts and then sell partial position as it gets in the direction that I want versus just taking one or two contracts of something that's going to be moving more. But unfortunately, if it moves more, sometimes you just have one or two contracts. So when you sell it, you're already out of the position. So I like to look at something around the 30 cents over here to the 40 cents. I think it's a smart play. It's a good option to take. And also the implied is not too crazy. So these are reasonable implied or reasonable option to day trade. By the way, if you enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to like, subscribe. I also did link all the best tools for trading in the description. Let's get back to the video. So the next column that we have is going to be open interest and also volume. These go hand in hand and when I'm day trading option like um, this morning, not in this account because this is a demo, but this morning I was trading some puts, some 235 puts. And now at this point, they're not really moving anything because there's very little possibility that they get there. But for example, at the time, what I was looking for is the open interest. 
but also the volume traded. When you're picking your option or even a call or something like that, you want to look at a decent amount of open interest and this is normally going to be the one that people trade. You're going to be trading the option that other traders are also trading. Otherwise, the spread, the bid and the ask is going to be really, really far apart and it's going to be extremely hard to make money because maybe you want to sell your option and you have to sell it at a 50% discount because there's no volume. So as I just mentioned, the way I look at option is pretty important. I look at the open interest and also the volume just to make sure I'm trading the one that everybody else is trading. And then I just match this with also the delta that's around 30 cents. So example, we look at this delta over here. We can see that this one, the volume is 98K. So it's trading a really big amount of volume. This one is still a, good, a very good amount of volume. And then this one too is a great amount and they all have pretty decent open interest. This is an option chain that is popular because it's Tesla. But if you look at something less popular, maybe like Google, you're going to be able to see over here that, for example, we have um, some strike that, yes, they're in the money are very close, but the volume is pretty bad. But you can go to something like this that's going to have more volume. And then over here, the bid and the ask is going to be pretty tight. But also you can see that the delta is not really good. And this is just stuff that you probably don't want to touch when it comes to option trading, just because the option is not going to move like crazy if the stock is moving. So going back over here, the next thing that I have is the bid and the ask. Of course, um, this is important. I don't look at the last price because this doesn't really matter. What I really look for over here is going to be how tight is these two prices. And normally I'm going to have it on my level two. That's going to be right here at the bottom. And then it's going to be my option um, order. So for example, if I would want to buy um, right now, the stock is actually going up over here. Let's say I wanted to buy for some reason this uh, 270 over here option. So I just click normally on 270. So it was this one. And then it's going to load normally my level two with the option. And then also I'm going to be able to just click the price and then I'm able to just click buy. For the option, I do not use hotkeys because it's too easy to do a quick mistake that could cost you a ton and a ton and a ton of money. So I'm really careful about the amount that I pick. Normally when I'm going to be watching the option chain, I'm already knowing because of the contract price, how many contracts I'm going to take. For example, something and maybe I would take 10 contracts. And over here, this is the maximum price that I would want to pay. And then I would be watching the stock, watching what's happening on some other screen. And then whenever I see that I want to enter, then I would just click. Right now, I don't have the live market data in the demo. So then I would just click OK. And then I would see the position pop in over here. And then what I would do over here is just take my position. Or sometimes what I do, I go to like a quarter and then I'm just willing to sell example at a certain price and then I'm going to sell like partial position whatever it's time or whatever I feel like it I'm going to sell bits and pieces of my position to exit so normally what I have over here is going to be just the option chart just to make sure that I see my execution go through and also I can see where is the option coming from and where it could go or where I could see the top maybe on the option chain, even if I see it normally on the chart and stuff like that. So this is how this part is set up. I'm watching these stuff and also which one that I want to pick. Then I just put the quantity and then I just click normally over here. It's going to be my ask price. I just click on the price and then I just click buy. And this is how I set it up. As I mentioned, no hotkeys for option trading. I don't want to do any mistake because it could be too expensive. So this is the main um, option that option chain or option layout that I look for. And then on this side over here, I'm just going to, have, going to have the contract that I'm trading, the position on realize, realize, and then I'm going to have the live order and the one I executed. So when it comes to my TWS platform, this is how everything is set up. The next thing I have over here is just going to be um, an execution window and also I have the same thing in Dash Trader. This is just how it's going to get set up. The issue with Dash Trader and Option is sure you can have the open interest but you can't see implied volatility or delta. 
So I do also have it over here depending where I want to take it. But mostly my option trade is going to be taking in TWS for that. But overall, if I don't have market data in TWS, I can still just click over here the option that I want and then I'm going to have the data right over here. But if I didn't have data or you don't want to pay for data in TWS and you have Dash Trader, I would still maybe just add the level one in uh, TWS so you can see the proper data and then you can just maybe execute it in Dash Trader if you prefer this. For me, it doesn't really matter. I just use it in TWS to trade option and when it comes to stock for like hotkeys and stuff like that, I use more Dash Trader. But overall, this is how everything is set up for the option and the option setup. So now when it comes to choosing the proper stock or option to trade, there's a few things that you need to know. You have to trade stuff that is moving very quickly. So this is going to be a big breakout, a big breakdown, or some kind of big mean reversion like we had on Tesla. This big day over here was really great. Some other things that are going to be important is when is the option expiring? You want to trade options that are expiring soon enough so you have crazy volatility and you're not paying too much of a premium for them. The closer you're going to be to the zero DTE, so the expiry date, it's going to move very quickly, but you have to be aware that you can lose pretty much all of it in a matter of a couple minutes. So it's important that you at least accept the risk of losing everything on the premium because this can happen. Hopefully it doesn't and you can cut your loss before, but sometimes the options are going to be really losing their value much quicker than you would think. So what I like is this big mean reversion with option to the long side, or we also had DGT on this particular day, which was a great option move. And keep in mind to make money with option, you want to trade stuff that move more than what the market maker is going to think. So breaking news is a good example or these big mean reversion or big breakout on the daily chart. These are going to be where you make your money with option because if you just try to day trade option on any random day, it's pretty guaranteed that you're going to be losing money with the cost that they are. So thanks for watching. Peace.